What's up, guys? Welcome back to Views, brought to you by Spotify. What's up, guys? This is the Views Podcast, the podcast where Jason and I play with our penises. <laughs> oh, boy. I was waiting for this episode. <laughs> Here we go. We got to do it because I said it. Whatever I say, it kind of rolls off the tongue. It's true. It is in the Views contract. Whatever I say. Mine's the, out. Whatever I say. The, yes. <laughs> It is it is out. Holy shit. <laughs> so Okay, well here it goes. Here goes mine. <laughs> that was me putting it on the table. Okay. If you're just joining us, it, it, the, I, I couldn't even look you in the eye during that imaginary bit. <laughs> <laughs> um uh, if you're just joining us, it's not that gross during the actual podcast. We just like to scare away the children during the beginning, just so we have the real raunchy people stay for the middle of the podcast. <laughs> oh yeah, David. I love when David gets real. <laughs> That's well, that's the that's your number one fan. Okay. <laughs> Alright, roll the intro music. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the podcast. David, yeah, man. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Welcome back to our podcast. Jason's forty-five. I'm twenty-two, and I'm not twenty. Also, but I'm twenty-two. Like I'm twenty-two. One oh, year, yeah that, yeah, that could be confusing for some of the parents listening. Is Holy he twenty or is he twenty two? <laughs> Shut up, mom! I'm trying to fucking listen to this. That He's... could be really confusing. Yeah, and it's it's weird because we've done a lot of podcasts, and it bums me out that we're just now clearing that up. I am actually twenty two. In one year, I will be twenty three. That's that's what I mean. Um, say you're twenty two first, and okay. then say I'm forty seven. Okay, I'm lying to you. <laughs> um, also, I'm guys, this is uh, this is actually the latest we've ever done the podcast. <laughs> Um, or the earliest, <laughs> or the earliest, depending on how you look at it. Um, I just uploaded my vlog. Um, it's Thursday morning. Mm -hmm. It's actually eight fifty in the morning, and I uploaded my vlog about twenty minutes ago. Um, so I stayed up all night editing mm -hmm. this vlog. It's daylight out. Yeah, I feel like a crackhead. I see. I don't mind the early. I know you hate the early morning podcast. Maybe you like them. Well, I'm getting up now. Now I feel good. I have my coffee. It's like you, I, I have a little crack with it. You have a you have a cup of coffee in your hand, and you look like you're at a PTA meeting. Like I feel like we're about to address some school issues. <laughs> What's bothering you? Well, some of the graffiti that was written on the side of my car was very hurtful, and how do you say it? Tr triggering. It was triggering to me. What do they? What do they? What do the kids write on the side of your car? They told me that uh, my mustache. Uh, Look like, uh, you know, it was very bushy. <laughs> okay. Told me I was going to say something else. But. Holy shit. They, they fucking, they graffiti all, they graffiti that on your car. <laughs> I can't even speak because it's so fucking early. <laughs> Fuck this. Fuck this. But you know why I do it? Why do you do it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't necessarily. You do like doing it. I do like it doing is, it. It is hard to do the podcast. You know why I like doing the podcast is because it feels like homework. So it, it's like, <laughs> I know it's kind of fucked up, but it's like, it's kind of just like, it's nice when you're done with it. Like it feels good. Like I achieved this. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. it. Everything with you goes back to high school. <laughs> yeah. Every single thing. Yeah. It's, it's weird. very interesting. I really do miss high school. And it's also because you missed college. Yeah. No, I was, I was, I was at college for like a half a semester. Don't so. call it. Don't keep saying that you went to college. It sounds like you and Ilya like went in and looked at her pamphlet and left. We did. We did. <laughs> we, we, um, yeah, we, we applied too late to one of the schools and then we went to go talk to the Dean of the school. Yeah. And we were like, we want to come back. And we were like, you, you should really have us. <laughs> yeah. Cause we were like, we're going to start a business. That's what we said. <laughs> and yeah. the Dean was like, I'm sorry, we're not accepting any more students at this time. And we were like, yeah, but like, you just gotta, you're making a mistake. <laughs> That's what we said. Um, and so you're right in the way you both turned out to be successful guys at a young age. Ilya runs a plumbing company. Yeah, which is very successful. But um, but that's not, but they didn't so make a mistake. Why don't you go fucking throw it in that dean's face right right now? Fuck the podcast. Yeah, let's go over there. No, we'll record on the way. Oh yeah, yeah. And then what we'll, should we'll, I say when I see her? Say what's up, bitch. You, you fucked up. Oh. I'm sorry. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up. Tell him, Jason. <laughs> Tell him, Jason. <laughs> Hi. I. This was like an just an idea we had, and During it's actually gone too far. Oh. Why are you standing with microphones and a laptop? <laughs> That's a long story. You <laughs> fucked up. You fucked up, though. Could have had me. Um. Yeah. So that. So yeah. So if the dean at ISU is listening to this. 
You fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly, she didn't fuck up. It was actually very nice that she didn't take me. Because if I did end up going to college, right. then it would have been a problem. Then I wouldn't have gotten, you know. Yeah, you wouldn't have gotten so far. Yeah, I wouldn't have done YouTube hey, and stuff. Do me a favor. Never let me drink boba again. Yeah, we went to a tapioca place. J- Jason's really weird when he eats shit. Like, he, like, loves it. And he'll, like, indulge in it. Oh. And he'll, like, f- like, uh, he'll, like, like, yesterday we, we had hot dogs, right? Oh. And he goes, he goes, oh, my God. God, <laughs> after the first, after the first, like if Jason has fast food, the first bite of it is always like he's never had food in his life. So he'll have like a fucking plain cheeseburger from McDonald's and he'll be like, holy fuck. <laughs> I forgot what these taste like. As if he's been in like a fucking coma for like 13 I years. I have been in a coma and for that, 13 years. And, that's, and, then, and then like whatever, like. The, the taste of the food goes away and then it like starts hitting his stomach and then he turns into a completely different person. He goes, why the fuck did I do that? Why did I do that? <laughs> like, like he committed a crime. He goes to like these stages of eating food and it's really scary and like not fun to be around. Oh, come on. Yeah. It's like, he's, no, like, not, he's tapio- not the best dinner pal. The, ta- the tapioca is so good going down. Yeah. The boba. I, and like, he uses weird words to describe it. He goes, he goes, I mean, not weird words, but it's just a weird way to talk about tapioca. He goes, it was great going down, <laughs> but now it's sitting in my stomach expanding. <laughs> it, well, th- th- and I, th- I can't even imagine the tapioca balls expanding to an uncomfortable size. Well, imagine it. They're like... I don't know. I think you're, I think I think you're they, very dramatic when it comes to food. Well, I, I, you need to take a step back. Here, here's what I'll say. Yeah. Here's what I'll say. I had the hot dog yesterday. No regrets. No. The hot dog was so good. It it was a Chicago dog, and you guys put a pickle right on top of the dog. Yeah, we don't. They don't do that in Boston. No, we don't. Or New up. York. How was your Christmas? Oh, it was so good. What you? Oh, I heard you got your um, your dad. You 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 got your dad a gift. Got my dad an iPad. <laughs> we were out trying to find him something, and uh, my mom said, "Get him an iPad." I said, "Oh, that's a great idea. Everybody loves iPads." Yeah. And he opened it. He just. He was so confused. He was just like, "What? What's this?" Yeah, and I was like, it, "It's an iPad." How old's your How old's your dad? He's not that old. He's like seventy five. Okay, but he's like a young seventy five. You met him? Yeah, yeah, he is. He's young. And he just doesn't. I don't think he cares. He had at no all. idea what to do with it. No, and he knows what to do with it, but he's just like, it's like I said to him. Uh, I said, "Oh, um, download this." Like I wanted him to like download an app to watch a show, like a Showtime show. He's like, "I don't want to download an app." And I'm like, why not? Like, why don't you just... What did he end up doing with the iPad? He threw it out. <laughs> Put it in the trash he, as he left. He cut pieces of salami on it. He uses a cutting board. Yeah. That does sound like an old guy thing to do. He used it to take the snow off the windshield. <laughs> your, um, your mom sent me a uh, text message um, two days ago for Christmas. Yeah, she was all excited. I she, feel really bad. She woke up Christmas morning. She was like... And we got to... You know, she had a list of stuff to do. And we got to send that video to David. And I go, well, what video? What do you mean? She goes, oh, we got to wish David a Merry Christmas on video. And I was like, okay. And so she got her makeup on. Aww. This is literally just to go to your phone, not to be published like on the internet or yeah, anything. Yeah. And she was like, and she was trying to get everybody together. And I was like, here, we'll just do it really quick. And then she was like, got on a tripod. <laughs> she put the phone on a tripod? Well, she was trying to do like a camera tripod, like a phone tripod. Oh, get the fuck out and of here. And I was like, here, just give it to me. I'll do it. I'll, we'll, we'll selfie it. Yeah. And then I said it to you and um, and David, David didn't even watch it. <laughs> I didn't watch it. I opened it and I saw that it was a minute and nine seconds, mm. which is a really long video. And I was like doing something. So I'm like, you know what? I won't watch. I won't watch it now, but I'll watch it later. Right. And then I was, and then I was showing Jason. I'm like, I was, I was basically, I, I, we were talking about this in the car <laughs> yesterday with Jason. And I'm like, Jason, look. So I pulled it up on my phone and I, I opened it. Yeah. See, it says it's a minute and nine seconds. And then I never watched it. And then as I'm showing him again, again, I didn't watch it again. Yeah. I was just like, oh, I'll watch it later. Yeah, Cause you got like some directions on ways or something. Yeah, I get that. It was just too long. You know what? I, I, you're right. I mean, it's too long. But in my mind, I thought you'd be sitting here doing nothing. Yeah. Which was wrong. Yeah. No, I've been. <laughs> I thought you'd be kicking back. I fucking hate the holidays, bro. It has been. I know. It has been hell on earth for me. I think I have the worst job when it comes to the holidays. I, I must. I must. I must have the worst job. Or military. Or the. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Military than you. Yeah. Let's put the military first. Okay, yeah. That, that kind of sucks. <laughs> a bombing villages on Christmas morning is yeah, a little okay. tougher. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, but then, then can, can I be second? You are definitely second. <laughs> Navy SEALs, YouTubers. <laughs> okay, you know, I was being really dramatic. No, no, no. I, I, I'm Let me take you. a couple steps back. I'm with you, dog. No, because I, 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 really I replayed how dramatic I was in my head, <laughs> and it was fucking way too aggressive. No, I don't have a, I don't have a hard job, but like, it, it is very difficult to- No, well, explain yourself. You no, have, you I, get, I get no, it. No, no, no. You have to post, and 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 I I had it too. I went to Boston, and I and I. You know what my New Year's resolution is? Don't Just, complain. Yeah, not complain. What are your New Year's <laughs> yeah, resolutions? Right. Me? Yeah, I'm gonna get in shape. Come on, <laughs> G- give me an actual one. Come on. Don't. Don't What's up with this mini shopping cart? Don't you, don't, I, don't just face the subject. I I I want to get in shape. I, really I know do. you want to. <laughs> your New Year's resolution is I want to get in shape. <laughs> it's enough. It's just the want. Well, what do you think it should be? For you? Stay alive? Maybe to shower more. <laughs> I was going to shower today. I know I probably should. No, it, it, yeah. You don't that even... skunk we had yesterday <laughs> smelled a lot better than me, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, we had a skunk. And Jason, I've never seen Jason stick around so long because I think he finally felt comfortable <laughs> knowing that there was someone in the car that smelled worse than him. No, you've actually never hung out with me that late. Yeah. Was... I think it was the skunk. It made me very comfortable. I felt at home. <laughs> Um, uh, well, what should my New Year's resolution be? Well, look, can you hold why that? Don't you help can you me? Hold why don't you help me with my life? You're so hold that thought. No, 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 no. Fuck off. Oh yeah, we gotta do this. Yeah, our current campaign. Fuck. Our I read some weird shit, but I don't want Jason to edit this podcast, so I'm gonna just pretend like I didn't. Nice. You know what's not smart? Job boards that send you candidates that aren't qualified for the role you posted. But you know what is smart? Going to ZipRecruiter.com slash Nash to hire the right person. Unlike other job sites, ZipRecruiter finds qualified candidates for you. It's powerful matching technology, scans thousands of resumes that identify people with the right skills, education, and experience, and actively invites them to apply to your job. So you get qualified candidates fast. That's why ZipRecruiter is rated number one by employers in the U.S. This rating comes from the hiring site on Trustpilot with over 1,000 reviews. And right now, our listeners can try ZipRecruiter for free at this exclusive web address, ZipRecruiter.com slash Nash. If you love the show, show your support and try ZipRecruiter by going to ZipRecruiter.com slash N-A-S-H. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash Nash. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Um, I'm thinking about hiring somebody. Yes, I know. I heard it before we go about mm-hmm. anyway. I want to I want to talk about this. Um, I feel like I've already talked about it on, on, on the podcast, but I don't know why I'm thinking about it. It's because we're sitting so close to my old um, elementary school. Yeah. Um, oh. did, I, did I ever tell you when we were in elementary, when I was in elementary school, our bathrooms were in our classrooms? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Charlie had that. That's fucking weird. Your, your daughter has that? Well, when they were really little, they used to be all go in and pee together and the door would be open. Wait, which, what? I found, which, which was weird. No, no, no. I had like a fourth grade class mm. and the toilet was in the room. Okay. So you could just go in there and do what you do your business. But you didn't have to ask. Okay. You would just go, but it was in the room. So people would hear you peeing. Oh, nice. No. Oh, people would hear you peeing. Yeah. Really? That's weird. And like people would have to take poops. And like, I guess I was a kid. So I never really like thought about it because you would, you know, you're just a kid. Right. Like you're in fourth grade. But like, that's crazy. Like people would take poops yes. right in the classroom. And you would hear it? Yeah, it was it was just one toilet in a room. Yeah. So you'd poop and then you'd and then you'd leave and you'd wash your hands in the classroom. Like oh. itself. Oh wow. Yeah. So it was literally one toilet in one room. Mm. What a weird setup. And did people ever like make fun of? Like, nice shit, David. A hundred percent. Oh really? It, it in fourth grade? No, it wasn't the shit. It was um there's this girl that would always go um to I, I've said this on the podcast before, I think. I don't remember it. No? But I mean I'm I'm getting senile, so. <laughs> you, yeah, you're not even making eye contact with me right now. <laughs> you're staring at you're staring at the opposite wall. Um, There's some new contacts. There was this girl I had a crush on in elementary school. And fuck, I hope I haven't said this because it's one of my favorite stories. And um, I remember her name. I remember how she looked like because I had such a big crush on her. She used to go to my church. And then, and then she was in my classroom. So this was a big deal for me. I'm like, oh my God, the girl in my church is now in my classroom. And one day I look over at her and she takes two of her fingers. <laughs> <laughs> and she and she puts them in her in her butt in her butt she puts them in her butt and she smells her fingers and she makes like a gross like face like oh like she smells something bad and then she goes to the bathroom and then david was like damn was, you're sexy <laughs> <laughs> no isn't that fucking crazy it's like a really funny thing to, to watch and she was like kind of attractive yeah oh she, yeah she was gorgeous i yeah. mean for a fourth grader at the time when i was so a fourth grader like someone attractive like stick their fingers in their butt and still be attractive <laughs> I've you know never I mean? seen anybody do that. I've except- seen like a hot girl do something really gross and you're like, that's cool. 
Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I'm so she does stuff all the time. I'm so weird about like gross stuff like that. I don't know. I, I, and you, it was and you're it was, saying you're saying you know you know oh, why saying, a girl a girl a girl sorry a girl puts a finger in her butt and then you don't want to be with her anymore is that what you're saying David this isn't a girl thing this is just me being like a weirdo like if it was like if I was a girl and I was into guys I wouldn't want a guy to do something gross that's not the question you're not a girl you're a guy okay 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 if so, a, if, so, a, if, a, if if yes okay if let's say today yeah today in in today's age yeah. I'm sitting across the, uh, from a girl that yeah. I really find like really attractive yeah I want to go on a date with her. I will be honest, if she sticks her fingers in her butt and smells it and makes a weird face and goes to the bathroom, I'm going to pass. You're out. Yeah. Oh, are wow. You not, are you more in? <laughs> yeah, it's almost like it makes her more human. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. I think it's a little... I now I'm questioning little... myself. I guess there's something wrong with me. <laughs> I think you just like that skunk a lot. Huh? And whatever resembles that skunk. That skunk no, was but sexy. What, what was so interesting about the situation is like, it was everyone was everyone was minding their own business because mm -hmm. it was like, it was like one of those like working periods. So like everyone was working on their own stuff. Yeah. And, um, and I was just like, you know, looking around the room and then I caught her and everyone's like doing their own thing. And just me making eye contact with this girl who's putting her fingers in her butt and then smelling it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It was just a very like, Did she see you see, no, Did she, she didn't see, you she see didn't her. see me. No. Did you ever bring it up with her? No, I never <laughs> talked to her after that. <laughs> that I, I literally never, no, I never Did tell her. everybody. Did I tell everybody? Yeah. Well, now I am. I'm telling everybody right now. This is my, this is my first time telling everyone. What are your New Year's resolutions? Um, I did you ever pass any notes in class? Is that one of your things? What do you mean? You ever pass a note? Did you? Oh yeah, we used to pass notes all the time. Made me think of that. What did you pass notes? What were, just, what did your notes say? They just say like, uh, you know, so and so likes you. Get the fuck out. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. You'd have notes like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you ever get caught passing notes? That was like a big thing. No. Oh, you never pass notes. No, you I mean, guys probably just text each other. We just texted or like, yeah, or like we just, just whisper. Yeah, just talk after class. You never got like a note from the back and it was passed all the way to the front? No. You never had that like a row of eight desks? No, I've seen that in movies though. Oh yeah, maybe it didn't happen. <laughs> maybe I just saw it in movies. Maybe you saw it in movies. No, we used to do, um because we used to have computers a lot. Mm. So we all used to just message each other on computers and oh. like share, like share photo booths and stuff on computers. Oh, wow. Gosh, yeah. You like we had it all. Yeah. We did have it all. <laughs> we used to have a, do you, did you, you know that experience? Like when you, when there's a substitute in class and you see the TV rolled in. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Of course. Was that you? Did you have that too? Yeah. We had the TV rolled in. Like when the TV's rolled in, you're like, yeah. it's go time. Cause yeah. there was only like four TVs in the school. When they play fast and furious or something like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. So, so you know, when they have the TV, it's like, oh my God, we're not doing anything today. We're yeah, just watching the best. Movie. Oh yeah. That was the best. Oh yeah. When some random stranger shows up and yeah. you're like, what the fuck? Who is this? Holy shit. I don't know who this person is. And they seem to be in charge. When it's a substitute teacher. Oh, it's the best. Yeah. Snow day is the best. You'd be a good substitute teacher. Thank you. You know, we had a snow day here one day before spring break. Isn't that crazy? That's how weird fucking Chicago is. One day before spring break. Like recently or when you were in school? When I was in school. Oh, so you had an extra day off? Yeah. Is that the, your point? No, the point is that it's spring. Like spring break. Oh, yeah, but that's March, right? Yeah. Oh, but it, in Boston, it snows in March. March is one of the worst months. I know, but it's it just, can be. It's just interesting. Yeah, I don't the know. weather's I, all over the place. You can shoot my ideas down. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's, not, it's not like we're on the same team here. <laughs> hey, cool podcast topic, Dave. Don't give a fuck. It's like I've that, gone with everything else. That's like that in every other fucking state. I like when you what are, I like the story about the girl with her fingers in her butt. <laughs> I, I the funniest part is I've probably told that story like three times on the podcast. I, but both of us are fucking idiots. No, I kind of remember you telling that story, but I think that's okay to tell that story again because you know there's, there's you a know lot of little tweet, nuggets to unwrap. You know, I get a tweet after every podcast saying, "Can you stop repeating?" X, Y, Z story. Oh, really? Yeah, we always repeat a story every podcast. Oh, man. Well, that's okay. Did I you ever know, tell you, I'm, did you know I'm 45? Yeah, I have two like, kids. You know what's what's nice about it, though, is it keeps us honest. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's like, oh, wow, these stories are real because they can't fucking come up with new ones. Right. You know what I mean? These are the two most boring people in the world that we tune into every week. <laughs> what are your New Year's resolutions? I'm great. Okay, listen, I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna hang out with you more, I think. I'm going to like shadow you more, spend more time with you because hey, you're so successful. You don't have to drag me into this. <laughs> this is something just... I like the way... I like what you're doing. Don't fuck my New Year over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hang out with you and I'm, you're going to guide me a little bit. I'm going to have you as my, my, my coach, my life coach. So what is, what is the difference between last year? <laughs> I'm just going to listen to you more, I guess. Really? Yeah. I feel like so what should I do? I feel like we've already been doing that. I don't like that you don't work out though. 
Mm. I feel like working out should be our thing. We that should is get tough. into it together. We should go play tennis together or something. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Well, can I say something? Can I be honest right now? Okay. Um, I had a glass of milk. And oh, no. remember when I was like, I wonder if I'm lactose intolerant. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely am. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take my sweatshirt over my nose. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not like that. But like my stomach is like fucking talking to me right now. My stomach yeah. is bubbling. Yeah, milk, milk's, I guess milk's not good for you. Uh, what, what, since when? when? I don't know. They they sold us this bill of goods that milk is good for you when all your life. When I was a life. fucking kid, dude, if you got milk, like, that's it. Like, wh- like if if my mom got a bunch of Oreos, right. right, like, I couldn't eat a lot because they're bad for you because they're unhealthy. But if, but if, like, I got milk with it. If you had them with milk, yeah. Then it's just like, it's like you're balancing it out. Yeah. But now it turns out milk is, like, fucking horrible. It's so bad for you. Um. I don't know what it I, is. I, I I I don't know if um. Do you? Uh, oh, what's your New Year's, re- New Year's resolution? Um, I'm going keep being lit. Yeah, keep being lit. Keep making um. Keep making that dough. You gonna keep making YouTube videos? I think so for a couple more weeks. A couple more weeks. <laughs> no, I don't know how, how, how much you have more. left in you. Really, not a lot. I don't I know po- how you're doing it. I post it at eight a.m. I surprise myself. I I honestly, you know why I do it? Why? Because I'm I just like I just like surprising myself. I just, you do yeah. At this it, point, it's kind of just like a thing for me. Like I'm doing it for myself. I'm not doing it for anybody anymore. <laughs> it's not. just like, can David fucking get through another week? Right. No fucking way. No way. But he did it. Um, what are you gonna? I, 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 seriously, when are you gonna stop? I don't know. We gotta knows? stop. We have a conversation like every fucking podcast. No, we, we don't. Know. We haven't had this conversation in a while. When am I gonna stop filming? Yeah. Oh yeah, I have no idea. You take a break. Did your son keep calling? Uh, did your son stop calling you, Daddy? No, he's still doing it. And we we asked him. Yeah, I thought you hurt. You threw me under the fucking bus. Yeah, I had to. Oh my god. Okay, t- tell t- tell everybody what happened. Well, I was sitting with Trisha and Wyatt, and um, and I and I and I when she's around, I find it a good time to like talk about things. Yeah, Trisha's his girlfriend. Wyatt is his son. Right. And I said, you know, David thinks that fucking asshole. You call me daddy a lot, and maybe you should stop calling me daddy. I mean, I don't mind is what I said. I said, but, you know, maybe, it's, you know, you're getting older now. Don't call me daddy anymore. And he goes, um, he goes, he goes, yeah, I'm just going <clears> to. <throat> and this was very unlike him. He just goes, you know what? I'm just going to keep doing it because David said not to. <laughs> Holy shit. Like that. It was I'm, weird. I'm going to kick his ass. Yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite days was when we were out. It was like me, you, Brandon, and someone else. Maybe it was Todd. And you guys were talking to him like a. Like an older brother, and it was really fun because it was like, it was it was watching him because you guys you were like you were like ah oh, you want to get some weed and Brandon was like all right let's go let's get some alcohol and you were Brandon was like you like girls you want to pick up some girls what kind of girls you like you were really like razzing them you know what I mean oh I remember you were in the car and you didn't like it at the time I, I, no I did oh maybe I didn't I don't know no that's not true I liked it and that was one of my favorite days because it was you know it's funny to watch him like react to see how he reacts and stuff because i'm his dad so he's gonna keep calling you daddy i guess so okay new new deal yeah for every day why it calls you daddy i'm going to call you daddy (laughs) just (laughs) just just so we make it equally uncomfortable for everyone Oh my god! Is that okay, Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that! Never mind. <laughs> Shit. Tom Brady's son kisses him on the mouth. Yeah, but Tom Brady's an athlete. I'd fucking kiss him on the mouth too. <laughs> well, that's something else you're trying to tell us there, David. <laughs> you're not. Um, you're not too Daddy <laughs> yourself. <laughs> um, no. Um, I'm no. not Daddy enough. No, I mean I get it. I get it. He can call you Daddy all he I wants. I'm just being an of, asshole. Really, those, I don't really care. It's really great when when Trish is with them. Um, Charlie, she tells her all this stuff that I never, I never can hear. Yeah. It's like a, it's a completely different person. I just sit there and listen. Like the other day, she's like, she's like, well, I want to have two children. I want to be married by the age of 22. Charlie said that. Yeah, she's like, I want a boy and a girl at my wedding. And I was like, oh, wow. You have all these opinions. Wow. She's like your wife. I guess. Ready to go. Whose wife? Your Trisha's wife. my wife? No, she, no. Like Charlie's like your wife. Oh, 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 I don't know. I don't even know why I said that, to be honest. I don't know your fucking wife at all. I don't know why that came out of my mouth. It's okay. Wow, she's like your wife? Yeah. Is she like your wife? That just sounds like your wife. In a lot of ways, yeah. Yeah. But in a lot of ways, she's like me. She's really, desperate. She, she, she's on TikTok. She's, so yes, desperate. <laughs> yeah. She's on She's on the TikTok app. 
Poor girl. Is that everybody on TikTok? I actually, desperate. I'll be honest. I actually. You like TikTok. I like TikTok. TikTok's great. Yeah. yeah. It's really good. You know what I think they're really good at? Guys, TikTok is some app. Like, it's like short videos. And I think they purposely put shitty videos in your feed. So, like, you can, like, cringe at videos. Oh, really? Yeah. I think they're, they're really good at that. Like, they put videos that are really embarrassing. Right. And, like, where are people trying too hard in your feed. I think they do it on purpose because it's like my, my TikTok feed is a really good balance of well done videos or like well lip synced or like just like well danced or choreographed mm-hmm. stuff to like very cringy stuff that like are uh, either like are fuck boys or just like very scary people. Is your feed the same as my feed? Is I'm not everybody's sure. feed the same? I don't think so. My Instagram feed is not the same as yours, right? No, no, no. That's because you follow different people, Jason. No, I'm saying it's not like aggregated. It's not like oh, yeah. it's not tailored to you. No, I think the TikTok feed is more My like fucking feed is all you and Liza. It is so weird. That's weird. That's it that's is all you and Liza. And I don't go to you I never see your pictures. I, I don't know what I did. <laughs> it's literally you and Liza. What still I fucking doing? New this videos. Is. New videos. New videos. People going, Oh, remember when they went and got cotton candy? <laughs> And it's like you and Liza like, oh, oh yeah, that was love. great. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bizarre. Let me indulge in that cotton candy. People um, don't like to let go of, like if Trisha and I ever break up, like sure. I wonder what that will be like. I'd be like, thank God. <laughs> 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 Everyone will be like, fucking finally. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think, I think people will be like, I think people have a hard time letting go of sure, public no, relationships. I, no, I'm totally kidding. Right? I mean, yeah. I don't know. Maybe they don't care. I mean, it's going to be like 50-50 with you guys because I feel like there's a lot of people rooting for you guys and there's a lot of people that are just like, just fucking end it already. You know what I mean? I don't think so. No? Just me? <laughs> <laughs> she has this one hater. Her name is uh, Harley Jorgensen. No, something like that. And she, all she does, she has like 11 followers and all she does is just, her Twitter feed is just the most awful stuff about Trisha. Wow. It's literally like, once again, she was talking down to Jason and he, he needs to get out and find someone. He needs to self-respect himself and get his, himself a decent woman. And it, it's just her entire Twitter. is just going after Trisha. It's really funny. Oh. Got to see it. Oh, don't we need to uh, do some housekeeping? Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? Housekeeping. That's like an old radio term. What does that mean? Read an ad. Oh, like keeping up the house. Like... <laughs> Yeah, like I don't mean to clean your kitchen. No, I know, I know what you mean by it yeah. though. Like, like housekeeping, what? like, like, oh, fuck, I fuck, I, I hate that I'm stuck on this because now I want to explain it. But Jason wants me to read an ad, so he said yeah. housekeeping. Yeah, I'm not trying to be a dick right now. I'm actually no, trying to explain okay. it. I know you're. It's like it's like like we, we're gonna get paid. We're gonna get the bread. I'm so tired. <laughs> Can you do you hear me? There's not that much to explain. They get it. I know some housekeeping. Yeah, I think I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> I should stop doing these podcasts at this time, but you know what? I shouldn't stop doing at this time getting tickets because, um, SeatGeek is Seek so Geek. easy and like SeatGeek is the best. Did you get SeatGeek anything for Christmas? <laughs> Could you fucking imagine if I read the ads? Like SeatGeek is so <laughs> fucking great. Oh my God. Okay, that's that's enough for this one. <laughs> um, getting tickets online can be far too complicated. With hundreds of sites and varying levels of reliability, it's hard to know who to trust. That's why SeatGeek is the way to go, guys. SeatGeek pulls millions of tickets into one place so you can find the best seats in the easiest way possible. SeatGeek is designed to make your ticket buying experience easier than ever by searching multiple ticket sites and grading every ticket based on value. SeatGeek helps you immediately identify the best seats that fit your budget. Plus, every purchase is fully guaranteed, so you can shop for tickets on SeatGeek with confidence. Make SeatGeek your go-to ticket source for everything from sports and concerts to comedy and theater. SeatGeek app is the best. I have it on my phone. I use it all the time. I love it. I work with SeatGeek all the time. They're They're amazing people that work there, and the whole thing is just It's a very good system. I dig it. How many cars have they bought your friends? I don't know. Well, this year we bought, I I, I purchased a total of nine cars. Bro, I saw something really funny last night. You dropped me off at the hotel at like, are you done with the ad? No. Best of all, my listeners get 10% off. Excuse me. Best of all, my listeners get $10 off their first SeatGeek purchase. Just download the SeatGeek app and enter promo code VIEWS today. That's promo code VIEWS for $10 off your first SeatGeek purchase. SeatGeek, life's an event. We have the tickets. I saw something so funny. You dropped me at the hotel last night. And uh, okay, fine. I went to bed and then there was a trail of six cars behind us of your friends. Yeah. And it was all new cars. 
Yeah. It was all, because I didn't know we, I didn't even know we had a tail. I didn't even know they were following us. So everyone said goodbye to me. And it literally was like Reggie in the white Mercedes. Bye, Jason. Drove by me. <laughs> and then D, uh, Dima in the Camry. <laughs> yeah. See you later, Jason. And then John in this like, red Mercedes, yeah. which doesn't fit his personality <laughs> at all. all. Yeah. He looks like a fucking Coke dealer. <laughs> and he's the most mild mannered dude. No, it's so funny. I mean, like, so basically <laughs> if you don't watch my videos, we've, uh, I bought like nine, I bought nine cars, I think this year for friends and like family. Yeah. Um, and five of the cars are here in Vernon Hills. My right. dad, one of my friends and three of my other friends. Um, so it's like, and, and four of them are Mercedes. They're like brand new Mercedes. So it's really funny. Cause every time we go out they're all, you know what it feels like? It feels like Mr. Deeds or what, what is that? What is that? What yeah. is that Adam Sandler movie where he buys everyone a red Ferrari? Oh, I don't know. He's like, I checked out on a couple Sandler films. Oh, he buys everyone a red Ferrari. Like, like, sure. Like he's just rich. I think he, it is Mr. Deeds. Yeah. I think it's Mr. Yeah. Deeds. <laughs> That's it's it's kind of like that, but it is a really funny concept. Like it's, it's, I don't know. It's so fun to see all your friends in nice cars. Isn't right. it like fun? Like, don't you feel like you're in like a little mafia? Yeah, you do. You feel like you're, yeah, we you're, used to you're be, criminal. We used to be called um, the biker gang because we were always on bikes. And we didn't give ourselves, we, we didn't give ourselves this name. It was people, people would see us and they'd go, oh, the biker gang. And obviously they were talking down to us, but we took it oh. upon ourselves. as oh, like making fun of you. Yeah. Oh, so it was a biker. fucking biker gang. You know, one time uh, we were doing biker gang stuff. So like, <laughs> sure. What's biker gang stuff, by the way? <laughs> it's a smoking crack. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, we were lighting off fireworks. Mm. I've never actually told any of my friends this. Um, we were lighting off fireworks and a cop came and just like got us out of nowhere i think i was maybe like a freshman in high school yeah and a cop walked up to us just out of nowhere flashlight right into my face Ooh. and he goes what are you what are you doing and i go oh my god um nothing and i pissed myself <laughs> i straight up peed myself like full-on pee down my leg i'm wearing shorts isn't that crazy wow but it was dark so no one really saw oh my god and, and, and did the cop let you go yeah, he let me go. He just took my fireworks. Oh my god! But there were definitely times where, like, we were chased. The cops um, caught you last night. The cops, yeah, cops <laughs> caught me last night for filming. Um, they're always, they're always so nice here. They are. The, the, I was here. I was in Vernon Hills for four days, and I had two police encounters. Oh, <laughs> you did? Yeah, I got pulled over. For what? Um, I was just going a little bit fast. You give, you give me a ticket? No, oh. I didn't have my license on me. I didn't have an ID on me. Oh no, kidding! Nothing. No oh insurance. God. It wasn't my car. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. You could be a drug dealer. No one would know. This would be the right place to do it. Yeah. It's like Jason Bateman in Ozarks. Yeah. He goes to like launder the money and money in the middle of nowhere. Oh yeah. We were at some drive through. We were at some drive through here in Vernon Hills, Illinois. And this guy was like, I just moved here from Mexico. He had like an accent. Yeah. And we're like, why'd you move? And he's like, to get away from the cartel. Yeah. 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 And I was like, are you fucking serious? Could you imagine? I, I I didn't know if he was serious. He was serious, right? Yeah, he was. And then I was wondering, well, how'd you get in and how'd you get a job and yeah, how'd, how'd he get, get a work visa? And how'd he get so far from Mexico? And why did he choose Vernon Hills? Well, why wouldn't anyone choose Vernon Hills? <laughs> you love it here. Um, no, but, but yeah, it's so a, depressing here in the so, morning. So you know my you know my friend John. He's Filipino. <laughs> yeah, and he's like a super shy kid. Sure. Um, once we were doing fireworks, and they were John was the only person caught, but he had nothing on him, so. All the cops sat him on the curb and three cops around him just started fucking screaming at him. What? Yeah. He was on a call with us. So we heard like the cops yelling at him. They were like, where the fuck are your friends? Like they're where the fuck are your friends? Like that. Where are your fucking friends? Whoa. We're going to find them. You better tell us now. Where are your friends? Whoa. Because we were like doing fireworks and stuff. And John, obviously shitting bricks, didn't fucking snitch. Really? Yeah. And that's why he got a car. Most most importantly, because he didn't know where we were. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why he didn't snitch. But um, if, yeah, if he had my location on, he definitely would have yeah, snitched. Yeah, there's a certain kind of cop look here that I've seen. It's the vest and then the two thumbs in the vest. And yeah. They stand. It's definitely a Chicago thing that I've seen downtown. Yeah, two thumbs in the vest. Yeah, yeah what they the do that. Yeah, and that, that guy last night was big. Yeah. Damn. He was big. Hey, so um, what else? Give me some life advice, Dave. I don't have any life. Come on, life tell me what to do. Come on, let's. We're gonna have a good year, right? Two thousand nineteen. Like, yeah. What What do you mean? What we should well, do? You know, I'll, I'll be, be brutally honest. Tell me how what I should change my life. Give up. Okay. <laughs> 
All right, this has been a views podcast. Um, no, I mean, l- l- like, let's end the uh, let's end the podcast with some positive notes. Okay. What did you learn? Let's not talk about Jason. Well, yeah. What should, did I learn I just, this year? Should I just talk about my year? Yeah. Go what ahead. did you know? What did you? <laughs> <laughs> what did you? Um, five hundred thousand in merch sales, <laughs> ten million subscribers. What did you talk? Uh, what did you learn from this year? What's like one of the biggest things you've learned? The biggest thing I've learned is that um, to believe in myself more. And that there is no limit as to how high you can go. <laughs> that, that like made me cringe and tear up at the same time. <laughs> because, because it's sweet, but then you're 45 and it's like, fuck, why is he figuring that out now? <laughs> well, yeah, you well, know, I David, that. you know what I learned this year? Try your best. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you know, you learn things and then you forget. Sure. So I, you know, you forget stuff and then you're like, all right, you gotta, it's like, if I keep working hard, there is no limit to where I can go. Yeah. I mean, there is a limit. Do you believe, <laughs> do you believe everything happens for a reason? Uh, no, really? <laughs> no, I believe you make your own luck and you like this, whatever you put in is what you get out oh. for sure. Oh, I think everything happens for a reason. You, no, no, I used to think that when I was your age, not anymore. Not after my divorce. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you went through a lot more than a divorce. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't remember? No, I blacked it all out. <laughs> um, uh, what else did I learn? I learned, uh, I learned, you know, stick with your relationship. Don't listen to people. Cause I, I knew with Trisha when, the, when things got really bad with her. I knew with Trisha when the monetization checks came in that <laughs> who gives a fuck about what other people think. I just no, made a hundred grand. No, I knew, I knew if I didn't know this, but I thought I'm going to stick I'm going to stick this relationship out. Sure. And she's gotten so much better. Yeah. And, and I've gotten so much better. You know, we don't fight as much. We do fight, Bick, but more bickering now. Mm-hmm. We showed up yesterday to Vernon Hills and I, I felt so bad for David because we were with him for like a minute and we just immediately started fighting about something. Oh yeah. Ooh, I should say this. We were, uh, I was, I told Jason that I was going to scare Trisha in her hotel room when they got there so he called in the front desk and he goes hey give david dobrik an extra key when he comes and i got there and they gave me the key and i'm hiding in the hotel room i hide in the bathroom like in the shower i'm waiting for them and they fucking start having sex like as if jason did you forget no i just got so turned on i just (laughs) that was weird and i and i was like oh my god he's i I thought you were gonna have sex like the entire time and just finish right just to like just to have that be like the joke. And I was right. like, please don't do it. Please don't do it. And then, and then she ended up coming to the bathroom fully naked <laughs> right before she entered the bathroom, like fully naked. She goes, babe, I'm going to take all my clothes off. <laughs> and then she walks in the bathroom and then I scare her and she's fully naked and she grabs the shower curtain to cover herself. Come on. We landed the plane. It yeah. wasn't perfect. Yeah, you're right. You're but right. we did land the plane. No, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy for you guys, but guys, it's coming. The annual flood of year end. best of list is almost here, but rest easy. Here's one best of list that you don't even have to read. All the best new podcasts of 2018 are on Spotify from Cots riveting investigation into the juvenile justice system. And this is love's multi-faced stories of romance to the boundary breaking women of unladylike and bodies. Multifaceted. Yeah. I don't, what did I say? Multi, <laughs> multi-faced. I did. Yeah. Listen. I don't know what we'll to say. On your vocabulary There's no later. easier way to keep up with all your favorite shows and discover new ones. Podcasts on Spotify. They're streaming right now. Guys, for the last two minutes, we have a special guest. Come here, Alex. It's my hometown friend, Alex Newman. Look at this guy. He looks so great. He just woke up. Give him a question, quick. Alex, why? what's your favorite thing about David? My favorite thing about David is that he gave me $1,000 three, three days ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now I'm going to go out and murder someone. <laughs> <laughs> I got to sound good for the podcast for my fans. Yeah, they just woke up, so that's why they sound raspy. <laughs> yeah, they just woke up. You guys do these fucking podcasts at the weirdest times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 9 a.m. <laughs> it's really weird. I haven't we slept We tried yet. four times yesterday. <laughs> we did. We did. That was, uh, it was bad. Any other questions for Alex, quick? Um, yeah, like when you see David, are you like, oh my God, like how, how come his life's so fucking awesome and I work at Starbucks? <laughs>